こんにちは、アイロです。久しぶりにオーストラリアに戻ってきました。えー、今日はですね、まあ、医学部の友達と、えー、昼食をする予定です、えー。今からですね、シティに行きます。で医学部の話とかね、できればいいと思います。じゃあ、行ってみましょう。場所に着きましたのでね、友達をちょっと待ちましょう。Yo, Carl. You already in this? Good to see you, mate. Oh my God, you're a doctor now. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing. So good. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, so yeah, so. Hey, good to see you again, good man. Good to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. I'll get it from the wheelchair. Welcome, you can do it. Yeah, I'll get a second. You see it? Oh, I'm thinking he says no. <laughs> do you think it's a good move to stay in the city? Because oh, yeah. if last year, I mean, finally, yeah, you'll be going to different hospitals. Yeah, yeah. It's Unless you get sent to like. No, even if you said the Jundal, you just take the train up the Jundal. Yeah, yeah. And Rocky Hand, you take the train down to Rocky Hand. Oh, no, 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 it's a scary measure of how fast time passes now. And you'll, you'll, find, you'll find the same with your final year. Yeah. Like, I don't know, looking back now, mm. it's like, I felt like I studied a lot. Like, we, we met up most weekends yeah. for a session. Yeah. And like, looking back now, it's like, yeah, it's right. finished. Yeah, it was a pretty good feeling for like, for me a little while. Yeah. So, um, until I realized that I'll be working as a doctor next year. I'm just like, there's still a lot I don't know. Yeah. That feeling, you know, you know, follows you around. 
until you become a consultant, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Then probably it's still follows you around. Yeah, but at least you're a consultant and no one tells you what to do. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, just, yeah, it's just... It's a mind game. It's just... Yeah. Trying to not to get too carried away with everything. Yeah. You could see as the year went on, like... Stress levels and people. Oh, you really actually feel yeah. the tension. And like even on even on like the, the Facebook groups, yeah. like there was just you know the start of the year people were posting, oh yeah yeah, and then like as it went on, the sort of post stopped and everyone just kind of pulled back. Yep. And it was, it was like oh. yeah, more time for <laughs> well, next year you have medical students yeah. under you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm dreading it. You're looking forward to it. Yeah, no, it'll be great. It'll be great. The thing is, we'll be tested on the 30th materials normally. Um, yeah, so the only thing you should is, revise is, so the written, the written will be tested this year, but you're asking stuff you won't, won't cover this year here, uh, Obscani and Deep. Yeah, but they're still accessible in OSCE. Yeah, accessible in OSCE? Okay. Not accessible in your written. Okay. There, were two, there was one up to Ghani station, which was like a oh, was prioritization. A prioritization so. Oh, okay, so you have like, different cases. And you ten ten cases. That's really hard. I had, this, I had that uh, station, I had a consultant in front of me asking, so why do you think this case is more urgent than that is? Mm, I don't know. There, there's more words in it, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> My first one was uh, yeah. a cease by injury. There was one where they asked you all those questions about the x-ray, like, oh, so what else do you want? Like, ECG, so like that three anesthetic stuff. So you're in a country town, which I, it's why I stopped up, because I forgot it was a country town. Yeah. But, um, country town, guys, uh, not responding, cold blue, whatever, you have to go in there, and essentially it's a cute stuff. So, you know, you have to do A, B, C, D, which is really annoying, because the nurse, the, the nurse keeps interrupting you. No, my nurse was useless. <laughs> we, we all did it at different sites, yeah. so <clears throat> that was one of the complaints. Yeah. That there wasn't consistency between the sites. Yeah. So I knocked on the door and literally opened it. <laughs> oh, I can't. Knocked the door and trash me. I'm trying to freak you out. I'm trying to freak you out. There's no hand wash. Yeah. So I thought, don't worry in the EDC station about hand wash. Really? That was my mistake. Yes, yeah, it says it was an airway. It's like a server. Okay. The person that responded to have a quick look at the airway. Yep. And before I can even get to have a look, just like, yeah, I had a look earlier, the airway's fine. Okay, okay yeah, so, um, you know, that's why I just, I was so insecure with the Goodell. So, so, yeah, you might get a Goodell. It's like, oh no, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's on its way with the car. I'm like, okay, well, let me know when it gets here. I can't secure the airway, so I move on to breathing. Yeah. So then I started start to, like, you know, you do it, you head down this with the breathing feel for yeah. 10 seconds. Yeah. No, it's it's so I just, I started beating my head and she's like, oh, she's not breathing, I checked it earlier. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so how am I supposed to exam you know, I don't know what to do. You keep interrupting me. I was like, okay, yeah, so he's not breathing. So I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, so I did it properly. I was like, okay, so he's not breathing, so he's like, come and see if he asked me. So I started going like that, and then that's pushed me away. Why? She's like, you're not together. Ah, uh, okay, so, she, so basically your uh, position of like giving order to... Yeah, uh, you know, it's supposed to be like, it's, I think what charge. I was going for resource relief, basically. You do that, and then you check on the defib, yeah. yeah. and then the defib is a non tropical rhythm. Okay. So then you go down the non tropical I mean, rhythm yeah. pathway, yeah. and put your guys shock them just because... Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. Isn't that fail though? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's automatic all the way. So yeah, you follow the rhythm. Yeah. Another defib check, still non tropical. Yeah. And then you do your adrenaline, yeah, adrenaline. Yeah, adrenaline. Yeah, adrenaline and non tropical rhythm. And then you do the anti yoga. And then you run, yeah. And then. Um, check the Then he gains um, return of circulation. Okay. And then it's like, well. Post care, what would you do? Okay. And that's the station. Well, the thing that threw me, because they've got, they basically had the deep fit machine with a plastic, with a cardboard box. Mm. <laughs> it was like, with a, right, like right. a button yeah. shock. And yeah, 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 yeah. No paddles or anything. I'm like, this is a. <laughs> oh, so you didn't actually have to put those in No, you had to put the electrodes. Yeah, yeah. You had to put the electrodes, but like, 
It's just so un unrealistic when you go to check the rhythm. Damina just flashes up this like yeah. rhythm strip. Because the, the machine is dead. Yeah. He's like, okay, this is the rhythm. I'm like, no, I'm not in your chuckle ball. Okay, yeah. uh, dump the charge. <laughs> I think I think Mike Dem was dick. I think he expected me to keep the two minute time in my head. Uh, it was like, is it two really? minutes yet? And then Dem was like, I don't know. Ooh, that's hot. What the hell? Yeah, a lot of people did well. Yeah. Sixty yeah. percent, I think. Really? Sixty oh, percent. Yeah. It was the worst gun station. Really? Yeah. yeah. So I think I reckon the best things to do yeah. are to start early and go through that hundred list and focus on the plus 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 and yeah. plus 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 conditions. Mm -hmm. The best thing to do for the OSCE. I found is one is practice, yep. and the other one is just team up with automate and every week. Yeah, but also have 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 a good kind of resource for cases. Okay. So there's that there's that book you had, which was the um, unofficial guide. To unofficial to guide to the past the Oscars. Was it helpful? That had good, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That had good um that had good cases in it. All right. I like I didn't mind the H book. The ECG session was pretty good because mm -hmm. it goes to like a lot of ECG cases and yeah. it, and it kind of broke things down in like a simple level. Mm -hmm. So like it goes to like bundle branch, it goes to like right and left axis deviation, and it has a pretty good table like okay, so these are differentials for right and these are differentials for left. I just want to know how to detect a right and left axis deviation yeah. and what that means. Yeah, you're right. And the works. H book was good at just oh, like. Fine. Bang, quick points. All right. And because in your ASCIIs, that's all you need. To, you don't need to explain things. You can be like, this is left activation. These are differentials. Yeah. And your H was good at going through those things. So like a dot points, and they just covered just everything. Just dot points, yeah. and just. But like H book didn't really cover palliative oncology, um, no, anesthesiology no. thing. But so where do you think I can find a good resources for like ASCII on those? To be honest with those ones, like they're pretty much the easiest ones to pass. Oh really? Yeah. Because palliative care is pretty much like yeah, management. It's it's a management yeah. and then like there's only like a hand it's like five emergencies yeah. that you have to know. Okay. The lectures And they cover them pretty well? The lectures are actually pretty good for okay. palliative care. So like yeah. uh, spinal cord compression, uh, SVC obstruction, so super caliber obstruction, get like apical tumors. Yeah. Um, hematemesis where they start vomiting out blood. Yeah. Uh, neutropenia, yeah, or yeah. neutropenia. And then opioid conversions was the other thing. So basically all you have to do is you remember the si major symptoms and how to manage them? Essentially, yes. Okay. That, was, that was it. Okay. I guess also when you're doing it, you change your thinking as well. Mm. In that, so it's something hematemesis. Like how you manage that if you was an ED patient versus a palliative care. I'll ask you. Mm. Uh, so you have a six year old male comes in like, vomiting like Mass hematemesis. Yeah. And you called your on call for met call. Yeah. You have to run to the patient's bedside. Mm. You have to stand again in the bed. Patient's vomiting up blood. Yeah. What do you do? What do you do? First it's aid. Vomiting. Yeah. First it's aid. Did you? Okay. So what was that? What do you do? So I'm the, the doctor is it? Oh, so A B C D. No, it's like doctor, doctor. Vomiting up blood. <laughs> sedatum. <laughs> sedatum. <laughs> Not really. Is it? Literally, give him some morphine. Keep him comfortable. Right. So that's mean when you palliative station, yeah. you change your thinking. Yeah, there was a scan and there was a dirty. Oh, thing. yeah, there was an SEC. There was a, a big tumor. Yeah, big tumor. Yeah, so palliative. No, that, was, that was oncology. That was um, spinal cord compression. Yeah, it was spinal cord compression. And then, like, you know, what does yeah. the image show? How would you manage it? Mm. Ophthalmology. What would you ophthalmology? Yeah. Um, that you need to cover as well. Our hospitalization was literally like you go in there, you do a visual acuity, so yeah. now you do it properly. Yeah. So, you know, left or right eye pinhole if there's problems and all that. And then you just do a visual acuity, then after that you go straight to a uh, thumbscope on a uh, model eyeball. Yeah. Feel like a real person, as in, like, not so much, you, you give instructions and stuff, and but do, don't touch the eyeball. Yeah. With a oh, so Don't yeah. go in too close and hit the eyeball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then after that you have a picture yeah. of, uh, of a retina. Yeah. And then you're supposed to get the pathology for us to use papilledema. yep. And then Sorry. after that, then they tell you to come up with uh, differentials, yeah. papilledema, what investigation would you do, and what's your likely diagnosis. Mm. And psyched by a um, borderline or suicidal patient, that's what it's like. I heard though in the remediate, the remediation guys had it a bit rougher than us. You show some of their stations. So they had, that P station was a neonatal resource. Their ED, oh, their ED station? was a cardio version. It was a chemical cardio version. Chemical cardio version? Yeah, wrong. Is it amiodarone? Do yeah, you guys are the subs. They, had, they, they said it was like the best teacher they had yeah. in like the entire course. Oh, oh did they have like... They had, they had, they had some teacher. 
Because oh, wow. with every stop, they actually like they take you aside in these small glasses, and they like they tutor you for like oh, really? the entire time, okay. con- constantly, to make sure you pass the second round. Oh. So it's, they had the best teaching oh, in cool. the exams. Cool. So yeah. I kind of. <laughs>